Hey guys, welcome back. So we have an update on Manjaro regarding the whole issue with shipping free office by default as opposed to LibreOffice. Now, a lot of people were not satisfied with this and I can see why people want their system to be free and all that type of stuff, but I'll talk about, about that a bit more after this update. So a lot of people have declared that they're not gonna be using Manjaro, that they're going to switch to Arch or some other Arch-based derivative. Well, you don't really have to because it's not gonna be installed by default. And in fact, uh, the original um, forum post was about, it was really more of a test than anything. It wasn't really in the final release. Um, and if we take a look at the post here, it says that it's going to either, depending on the ISO, it's either going to uh, let you select which office software you want or it's just simply not going to include it. And here we even have an image uh, of what it's going to look like. So uh, once you get past the first couple of steps, you're gonna have this uh, option here and you can easily just choose which one you want. Now, again, keep in mind, uh, a lot of you people might think, well, we don't need this option, just ship LibreOffice by default, we're good to go. But you really have to see it from the perspective of a new user, especially someone from Windows. Not everyone is used to Linux, and uh, for someone who's trying Linux as a first time, uh, they're probably gonna want to use something more familiar, and then from then on, they can uh, start making, their, uh, forming their own opinion, essentially, and uh, make their own decisions on which software they plan on using. So that's basically it. I really don't see what the big deal is. Uh, I think that the entire issue was just over-exaggerated. Uh, really, people shouldn't have reacted uh, so extreme to just not use a distro anymore uh, just because it ships with uh, free office as opposed to LibreOffice. Uh, I think that's a bit too much. Um, again, I see why it's a bad thing, and it's a good thing that... Uh, the Manjaro team has decided to listen to its users and that's uh, precisely why I really like Manjaro and I'm going to continue using it because they actually listen to the feedback from its users. So um, again, I just don't understand what the big deal is um, and it's it truly is a good thing for Linux to cater to more users because if you read this part right here, it says, so to summarize, this whole process is helping a company support Linux as a platform, uh, brings more choice to Manjaro and helps a wide range of other Linux distributions as well. So, you know, this is more helpful more than anything. I mean, especially right now, how they have it as an option, that's great. Um, I do think that having it as an option is the best they could have done. Um, and again, one thing that a lot of people are forgetting is Manjaro has been shipping with Steam for such a long time now, but nobody said anything about it. And Steam is proprietary. Now, I get it. Steam is the best piece of software for Linux when it comes to gaming. There really is no alternative, alternative so I, I understand that part. But it, that really shouldn't make it an exception. I mean, whether it's Steam or free office or um, even a browser that's uh, proprietary, like Google Chrome or whatever. Like, there should be no exceptions. They're all proprietary. So if you want a completely free system, all of it is open source, all that type of stuff, then you can't just disregard Steam. You can't just be like, oh, okay, I have Steam on the system, but it's just one exception. So this is why I think that this whole um, the reaction from the community uh, was kind of, especially from those who declared that they won't use Manjaro anymore, it's really kind of ironic and doesn't make any sense to me at all because they've been using uh, Manjaro for who knows how long, yet Manjaro has been having Steam, but it wasn't a problem for them. Yet now, because it's a different piece of software, just because it has alternatives that all of a sudden makes it, uh, they make it a big deal. They make a big deal out of it. So like, I just don't understand. So 
that's just my opinion on things. Uh, I'm going to continue to use Manjaro uh, for as long as it continues to be stable. Uh, it's been providing a good experience for me, and I just really don't see a reason not to. And I don't see a reason why people should move to Arch for something like this that within a day has been solved. So, yeah, that was basically it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, thanks for watching.